Now next is variation. We know that what is variation? Variations means the difference between the individuals in the same species known as variation. Or we can also say that the difference be or the degree of difference present in the offspring than the of parents known as variation. We all know that there are many type of variation occur in organism. There are certain but there are certain or variation which is help that organism to survive in particular environment and there are many variations present in organism which is not help that organism to survive there in their particular environment. So let us talk about the variation which help organism to survive. For example, consider there are there are some beetles living in green plants. They increase their number by reproduction. But crow can easily see the rare beetles and eaten by the crow. During reproduction, some variation occur and and green beetles are produced instead of red beetles. The green beetles are not visible to the crow and not eaten by them. Then gradually the population of red beetles decreases because crow continuously eaten only those beetles having red color. Because green beetles are not visible in the plant in a plant. So the population of green beetles are increases. So we can say here that this variation help that organism to survive in that particular uh, environment. Now next is some variation do not help organism to survive. During sexual reproduction a color variation occur in red beetles and some produce some beetles having blue color will produce. Here the blue color is easily visible by the crow and crow can eat those beetles having blue uh, blue colors. Then the population of both the red color and blue beetles continuously decreases. So here the variation occur but this variation does not help this, or this organism to survive in that condition or in particular condition. Now next is trait, the acquired trait cannot be passed from the one generation to the another generation which means the certain characters which acquired by the particular individuals which is not a pass from the generation to the another, another generation. We can say that there are those traits or those characters are only pass those who are connected with the genetic material or genetic which means those characters are connected with the genetic material will all are only transferred from parental to traits. The acquired characters are not transferred from the one generation to another generation. For example, if the population of beetle increases and plants are affected by disease. For example, due to reproduction, the beetle increases in the number, but at the same time, the beetles living on the plant will have some diseases. Then the food available for the beetles decreases. And that due to this, their body weight also decreases. If after a few year, the avail availability of food increases, then body body weight of beetles also increases. So here, the decreases in body weight of the beetles, known as acquired trait, it is because the decreases in a food avail decreases in avail availability of food when the the food is available, the character of weight, body weight will also increase. But this is this decreases in weight is a acquired trait and will not transfer from the generation to another generation. Okay. 
Now next is speciation. The formation of new species from existing species mainly due to due to the more of following factors. They are accumulation of variation, physical barrier, genetic drift, natural selection, and migration. Which means what is speciation? Speciation means the formation of new species from uh, existing species. Which means in simple language we can say that speciation is the process of formation of new species from the existing species. Means nai nai species purani species me se form hona is process ko hum speciation bolte hain jo ki accumulation of variation physical barrier genetic drift natural selection and migration ki wajah se formation hoti hai so let us see one by one first factor is accumulation of variation the difference between the difference between the individuals of same species called variation the accumulation of this variation over several generations produce new species we know that the individuals in the same species are different and during after generation by generation this this variation is accumulated in the that particular progeny to the, to the offspring and it's lead to the formation of new species physical barrier next factor is physical barrier population may get separated by physical barriers like mountain river lake this isolated group produce variation which can be produce new species means due to physical barriers like river lake and mountain and etc this isolated group produce certain variation which is necessary for the for them to survive in that condition and this lead to produce new species third factor is genetic drift natural natural climates or introduction of new member of the same species in a area can produce change in the gene pool of population and new variation produced which can produce new species means introduction of new member of same species means new nay individuals ko agar jab introduce hoga species species me particular area me to wo gene pool me change laega this gene this variation leads to the formation of new species next factor is natural selection only those individuals or species which have useful variation can adapt to the change in the environment and variation and another day this organism can produce variation and new species means in natural selection only those individuals or species will survive which have useful variation that can help them to adapt with the change in the environment and this variation after leads to the formation of new species next is migration some individuals of some individuals of species may migrate to new geographical area and adjust to that change in the environment they produce certain variation and this production this variation later produce new species which means some species some individual some individuals of species migrate to the new area and to adapt this that area they will produce certain variation and this variation lead to formation of new species now next is evolution evolution the gradual change taking place in living organism give rise to new organism due to change in genetic composition is called evolution means 
ग्रेजुअल चेंज टेक प्लेस इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म मतलब लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म में जो चेंजेस होते हैं टाइम टू टाइम उसकी वजह से नए ऑर्गेनिज्म और नए स्पीसीज आते हैं नए स्पीसीज प्रोड्यूस होते हैं ड्यू टू जीनेटिक चेंज इन जीनेटिक कंपोजिशन दिस प्रोसेस नोन एज इवोल्यूशन देर आर ड्यू टू इवोल्यूशन देर आर टू कैरेक्टर्स आर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट वन इज द इनहेरिटेड कैरेक्टर्स एंड एक्वायर्ड कैरेक्टर्स मीन्स इन इवोल्यूशन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स प्रेजेंट फर्स्ट वन इज इनहेरिटेड कैरेक्टर्स एंड सेकेंड वन इज द एक्वायर्ड कैरेक्टर्स द नेम ऑफ दिस टाइप से एवरी थिंग अबाउट दैम दैट इनहेरिटेड कैरेक्टर्स और इनहेरिटेड ट्रेड मीन्स दो स्ट्रेड विच इनहेरिटेड फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स टू देयर ऑफ स्प्रिंग ओके एंड द एक्वायर्ड कैरेक्टर मीन्स दो कैरेक्टर्स विच एक्वायर्ड बाय द पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल्स दैट विल नॉट पास फ्रॉम द जनरे पेरेंट्स टू द ऑफ स्प्रिंग सो लेट एस सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वन इज इनहेरिटेड कैरेक्टर्स इनहेरिटेड ट्रेड्स आर ट्रेड इन ऑर्गेनिज्म ड्यू टू चेंज इन जीनेटिक कंपोजिशन एंड इट कैन पास फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन जनरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इट रिजल्ट इन इवोल्यूशन मीन्स मीन्स द इनहेरिटेड ट्रेड्स आर विच इज ट्रेड ड्यू टू चेंज इन द जीनेटिक कंपोजिशन and it pass from the one generation to the another generation and result in evolution means jo inherited character trait hai wo genetic composition ki wajah se hote hain aur wo one generation to another generation pass hote hain jiski wajah se evolution hota hai now next is acquired trait acquired trait means the acquired trait or trait which acquired by the organism during the lifetime and it cannot be passed from the one generation to the next generation and does not result in evolution means jo acquired trait hai wo us tarah ki trait hai jo ki organism uski lifetime mein a hote a generate karte hain jo ki genetic composition mein change nahi hota and This cannot pass from the one generation to the another generation. Means, जो acquired character है वो one generation to another another generation pass नहीं हो गए and it does not result in evolution. So this is about inherited trait and acquired trait. That can be asked in exam. That what is the difference between inherited trait and acquired trait? now what is the evidence of evolution we study the we study about evolution and talk about the evolution but what is the evidence of this evolution that evolution take place in particular manner so there are different kinds of uh, evidence present which indicate that th- there is a evolution process there is a process which called evolution take place in organism so there are number of features in different organism which provide evidence to show the evolutionary relationship among them which means there are certain characters or certain features present in the different organism which indicate that the evolutionary relationship between them for example homologous organs analogous organs and fossils first one is homologous organ the organ which are similar in structure but different in function so what is homologous organ Homo- homologous organ are those organ which have similar structure but different in function matlab wo structurally similar honge but unka function different different hoga for example four limb of amphibian reptile bird and mammals you can compare the four limbs of different group of uh, animals for example in a 
rocks or amphibian it used for limbs to raise in the front matlab in amphibians they use their fore limbs to raise in the front where in lizard the, the fore limbs used for walking and running birds use their fore limbs for flying and mammals use their use their fore limbs for for grabbing and running and swimming and also for flying this shows the evolutionary relationship between those organs that they are adapted for that particular environment but they are developed from the particular organs and the structure of these organs are similar look at this picture you can see that the structure of different animals of the forelimb for example whale bat horse and men all these organism have structurally similar forelimb but all these organism use their forelimbs for different purposes for example whales use their use their forelimbs for uh, swimming where bat use their forelimbs for a uh, flying and a horse use their forelimbs for running you can see in this picture also that their structure is similar skeleton but their function is different from each other now another type of organ organs the analogous organ the analogous organs are those organ which different in structure but similar in function which means the organs which have different structure but similar in function aise organs jo ki structurally different hote different hote hain but functionally similar hote hain aise organism ko hum analogous organ bolte hain for example wings of butterfly and wings of bat and another birds it shows that evolutionary relationship between them that a uh, wings of butterfly and wings of a uh, bat is a structurally different but used for similar function to flying now this can be asked in exam that differentiate between homologous organ and analogous organs so we have to write the definition of a uh, homologous and analogous or organs and the examples of homologous and analogous organ now next evidence now next evidence of evolution is fossil so and the remain of organism which live long ago from the study of fossil we can know we can know the structure and the time period in which they live means फोजेल के यूज से हम पता लगा सकते हैं कि कौन से ऑर्गेनिज्म किस टाइम पे अर्थ पे रह चुके होंगे ओके द फोजेल ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड रिसेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म आर फाउंड टू द नियर टू द सरफेस एंड द सिंपल एंड ऑर्गेनिज्म विच लिव लॉन्ग बैक आर फाउंड डिफोर द अर्थ the age of fossil can be determined by the radiocarbon dating the process known, known as the radiocarbon dating which is used to for for the to know the age of fossil the study of fossil show the evolution of similar simpler form into complex form the fossil study shows that the simpler forms of organism are evolved into the complex forms of the organism and their evolutionary relationship these are the different types of fossil tree trunk fossil you can see here this is the fossil of tree trunk this is the fossil of fish this is the fossil of invertebrate and this is the fossil of a uh, dinosaur skull of dinosaur which is found in here gujarat also now evolution by stages 
the complex organism and its organ develop from the simpler organism gradually over the generation which want to say that the complex organisms are evolved from the simpler organism by the gradually over the generation means generation to generation jab generation to generation variation ho gaye uski wajah se simpler simpler organism mein se complex organism will produce or will form so first one is the evolution of eyes examples of similar to complex organism is evolution of eyes in organism the eyes of planaria are just a eye spot to detect the light which means the eyes present in planaria is just a eye spot which detect the light and it gradually develop into the complex organ in a higher animal we can see the higher animals having well developed the eyes which can certain animals there are also present there which which they which can sense and which can see the also infrared and visible also where in planaria they can only detect the light which evolved later gradually after generation by generation into the complex organ complex organ in higher animal evolution of feather 